Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Black and Silver Way. As you know, training camp has been started and I've been letting a couple days play out just to kind of give a coverage on a few days instead of an everyday coverage. So uh, today was my day off, you know, just going to kick back today. I had a beer, I was just relaxing, and I ended up finding out on Twitter that today was the day that the inside uh, training camp live on the NFL Network is going to be out at Napa today, and they're going to be doing the Raider, the Oakland Raider edition. So I was pretty excited about that, made sure I uh, was watching the camp, just waiting for it to happen, and uh, it finally came around. Uh, I had to wait for almost two and a half hours to see all the stupid other teams that the NFL always focuses on like the Jets, all these other teams that I don't even care about, and they finally got to our Oakland Raiders. And what do you know, guys? The Oakland Raiders get bashed on again. Um, that's all it seems to happen, guys. The NFL Network always bashes on us, saying that we're going to be a worse team than last year, guys. All the smart moves and all the good pickups we got out of the draft, it doesn't matter. None of that matters. Charles Woodson coming to our defense, that doesn't matter. Lamar Houston having the best offseason of his life, that really does not matter. We're going to do worse than last year. And uh, honestly, Matt Flynn and Terrell Pryor are horrible quarterbacks. And... Uh, Tyler Wilson, who's Tyler Wilson? So that's definitely what pretty much I had to wait all afternoon to see, especially on my day off. It just pisses me the fuck off. I mean, I love being the rogues. Don't get me wrong. The outcast, the Oakland Raiders, we are different. We are looked uh, down upon, and that's cool. But when respect is needed and when the truth is needed, the NFL does not deliver that with the Oakland Raiders. They definitely will never say the truth. There will always be some analyst that is a piece of shit and talk shit about the Raiders, but that's fine. Anyways, I'm going to upload that, or it's actually already on my channel. Uh, it's the Inside Training Camp Live Oakland Raiders Edition. It's the only one on YouTube so far, so definitely check it out. And I only put my stuff in high definition, guys, so make sure to go watch that. Put a comment in the below uh, on the video if you watched it. Let me know or comment on that video. I will read the comments. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the training camp notes. The person that I want to go ahead and uh, let grab the tight end position, like I said, is I'm a fan of David Osbury. I know he was a, a wide receiver at USC College, and he didn't even play tight end. So right now, what his focus is, he's got the athletic ability, he's got the hands, but he knows he needs to know how to block. He needs to know how to um, also be a defensive player as well, because uh, he's got to protect the QB every time he's not running out and doing routes, guys. So he's He's definitely got to get better at blocking and uh, he told the media that he's doing a really good job with uh, the athleticism part he's just taking in a lot of uh, the line being a lineman so uh, that's what David Osbury is uh, his status is right now and uh, he's enjoying the competition and he's learning the values in these drills guys because a lot of these people are new to the NFL this is only his second year so he definitely is uh, learning the value of training camp so that's good to hear that David Osbury is adapting to this training camp adapting to this new style Scheme, and hopefully he gets that position, guys, because I like David Osbury a lot. Cornerback Mike Jenkins has always been on the Cowboys his whole career. This is his only second team in the NFL, and uh, he used to have to practice uh, in uh, indoors, and he said uh, it's a lot better to be outside at Napa. It's uh, better to be with the fan environment outside, um, doing drills in front of the fans, and it just really helps him out. It helps him get more determined. More of that game mentality, guys, because we have an outside stadium, and he's going to be adapting to that because he's been playing in a uh, pretty much an arena his whole life at the Cowboys. So that's good that Mike Jenkins likes to be playing outside again, and he likes the training facility right now. And I heard he's not too bad at all. I definitely heard he's better than Tracy Porter right now. And um, I haven't been able to see how much DJ could do. I heard that Charles Woodson said that DJ Hayden has really good footwork. And that could go a long way in the NFL, guys. So Charles Woodson's definitely giving tip tippers to uh, DJ Hayden. Any questions at all, DJ Hayden and him have been bonding really well. And uh, that'd be nice to see uh, Charles leave a little bit of molding on this next year for DJ Hayden. Because he's a very young player. He's got the potential. He's got the feet. Let's just stay healthy. And I think DJ Hayden can be a definitely a elite cornerback in this league in a few years. So Dennis Allen, that's the one thing he's trying to do is he's trying to bring back the consistency and he's trying to bring back that great winning mentality that the Oakland Raiders used to have when the great John Gruden was our coach back in 1999. 
The thing that we have been lacking for the last decade is consistency and winning, guys. We do not win a lot, and we are not consistent whatsoever. We're consistent with losing, and we're consistent with not making playoffs, but that's not how we're going to win Super Bowls, guys. So Dennis Allen is trying to bring that back with Reggie McKenzie. We all know this. It's a rebuilding process. And Dennis Allen says that he just needs leadership, and that's what he's going to be finding in these players. Everybody's battling it out at each position. He's looking for consistency, leadership and taking control of that position. That's who the starters are going to be, and that's what he's looking for for this year's starters. And a person that has accomplished that very well so far in uh, the linebacker position is Nick Roach. He is very pleased with Nick Roach's leadership. He's very pleased with the way he's been adapting to the scheme really well. And uh, he's even mentoring towards the new linebackers like Miles Burris and a few of the other ones. And I'm telling you guys, Nick Roach, very outcast, guys. We got a lot of players that have been backing up big names in the NFL, signed them to contracts, the hungry football players that have been behind the shadow of a big NFL superstar, like uh, the one and only Brian Urlacher, just like Ray Lewis. Brian Urlacher, that's who Nick Roach was behind for nearly five years, guys. And that's a good person to be behind. That's the same thing with Matt Flynn and Aaron Rodgers. He was behind Aaron Rodgers for a long time, and now he's finally getting a chance to get that starting position. So now that Nick Roach has that same opportunity, he is going 100% right now. So Nick Roach is definitely going to be like Philip Wheeler last year or better. Hopefully he's better and he has a, he has a bigger body than Philip Wheeler does. So let's see if Nick Roach can be that ultimate middle linebacker that we uh, can have on the team, guys. So I'm really pleased to hear that uh, Nick Roach will be starting this year. He's doing a great job and I can't wait to see how he's going to be out there in the black and silver during the games. Another person that I've heard uh, has a really good, um, he's had a really good productive offseason is Chimney Checkwall. Chimney Chekwa has been doing a lot of good moves in the offseason. He's been training really hard, and he's been working out really hard. He's in uh, one of the best shapes of his life. And, you know, I've always known Chimney Chekwa to be that backup cornerback that I knew had the potential. He definitely had the speed last year, and he has been really good man-to-man. -man. He did uh, miss routes, misread some routes last year, and... Uh, he didn't really have enough to be starting with uh, behind Josilio Hansen, Pat Lee, and all the rest of the people we had last year. But he did come in randomly. And Chimney Chekwa has always had potential, guys. He was drafted uh, two years ago with Demarcus Van Dyke. And I was sad to see Demarcus Van Dyke leave. Honestly, I really was because I liked him. He was very quick and he had the same tra traits as Chimney Chekwa. He had that man-to-man -man coverage. And, uh, I mean... Uh, we cut him last preseason, and what do you know? The Steelers pick him up. The or great organization. They have the most Super Bowls ever. So, anyways, they pick him up, and they pretty much um, make him a starter right off the back. So, Demarcus Van Dyke is having uh, gonna have a successful, I'm sure, career with the Steelers or whoever he plays with. Anyways, we let him go. Big mistake. Chimney Chekwa. He shares the same kind of traits. He's uh, same age, same everything, pretty much, guys. So, hopefully, Chimney Chekwa could step it up and be a starter this year or maybe be behind uh, Mike Jenkins and DJ Hayden because I heard that Tracy Porter is not doing too well right now guys I heard that Tracy Porter has been getting burned and he's been misreading routes so far I don't know if he's just adapting to the Oakland Raiders scheme guys and the plays because honestly I hope it's not over the number situation hopefully he's not picking up a paycheck and he's gonna say fuck you to the Raiders organization and only play for us a year that would be shitty and that wouldn't be good but let's hope that he's just having some off days here in training camp and hopefully he could step it up because I would like to see DJ Hayden, Mike Jenkins, Tracy Porter and Chimby Checkwall all in the lineup ready to go. But I heard Mike Jenkins is doing really well guys and I heard that DJ Hayden is also doing good. He has good footwork. Charles Woodson sees uh, potential in his feet and he's very quick and he's got some agility guys. That goes a long way at a cornerback position especially if you like to go man to man and that's one of DJ Hayden's preferences is man to man. So, guys, that's all I wanted to say about Chimney Checkwall. Uh, they're all, you know, going man-to-man -man or, you know, co zone coverage, whatever they're doing. They're all pressing on those wide receivers, guys, and they're just helping each other out get better. So it's uh, definitely a process every day today, and I will let you guys know who's going to win the cornerback uh, lineup.
The last thing I want to talk about is uh, Lamar Houston also doing a great job, doing anything he can. I heard that he is in the best condition of his life, guys, his lifetime. He is in the best shape he's ever been, and uh, he's taking this. he took this offseason very serious knowing that the Raiders kept him out of all the defensive linemen we let go last year. They want to build the core around him, and uh, he takes that very seriously. He loves to be a Raider, so shouts out to Lamar Houston. You are the future of the Raiders, and I do not see a re one reason why the Raiders will not re-sign you next year to a contract. And uh, like I said, I like what he said in NFL AM last week. He said, the goal is to be a Raider for life. When I said, when he said the goal is to be a Raider for life, that really touched me and I thought that was very amazing because you don't hear a lot of uh, Raider players in the last decade saying the goal is to be a Raider for life. Usually they just come and go or they're just collecting a paycheck. So everybody make sure you show love to Lamar Houston. He always shows love to the fans and he's doing a great job. He's take, He took this offseason very serious, trained really hard. So shouts out to Lamar Houston. You are the man, all right? You're the man with the plan, and I can't wait to see you out there. And uh, the last thing is uh, Coach Allen. You know, Coach Allen loves that our fans are out there supporting him, guys. I wish I could be out at training camp. I have a few friends that are out there every day in Napa so far, and they've been telling me and showing me footage, taking videos with their phones, and, you know, some of them meet the players. I'm so jealous. My homie uh, got to meet Tyvon Branch, and Tyvon Branch and Lamar Houston are my favorite defensive players on that defense, guys. So definitely uh, am jealous to all the ticket holders that are out there at Napa every day. But I want to also thank you guys because – Coach Allen is noticing that, you know, we do have the best fans in the NFL. The team notices that. Everyone notices that we, um, the player, I mean, our team, like, the fan base is just ridiculous, guys. And that makes the Oakland Raiders want to go that extra mile. And like Charles Woodson said on Behind the Shield, he said, it's like he ne he feels like he never left, guys. All of us are always welcoming him so much, and we know what he did back in the day for us, and we just act like he never even went to Green Bay. So he takes very uh, he takes note of that, guys. He wants he's gonna give it his hundred percent this year, and we'll definitely see how Charles Woodson does um, with this defense. And like I said, we have a lot to prove to the NFL Network. We have a lot to prove to everybody, guys. Everyone thinks we are still a fuck up in the NFL, and I know that's gonna change this year if not this year we will get it next year guys I'm telling you it's only from and up from here guys I don't think we're ever gonna go down again I, I think it's only a building process from here guys so let's hope that uh, our Raiders you know keep doing a good job in training camp guys because uh, it seems like everything's flowing well and it's only just a day-to-day -day process guys they just got to help each other get better and that's going to be it for this video guys I've been getting a lot of uh, subscribers off of Twitter I just started a Twitter account it's called black silver way i couldn't fit the black and silver way so it's black silver way and uh follow me on instagram and i'm only on instagram and twitter guys i don't do facebook and um any of the other social networks i'm not really too hype on social networks too much so thank you for watching the video guys make sure to like comment and subscribe i like to keep a consistency in the channel i will be uploading that in hd the inside training camp live for the oakland raiders and uh, yes, so I'm going to enjoy my day off. You guys enjoy your day. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, Raider Nation.